when I look at the people that bring out their family affairs outside, I pity them because they don't know what they are doing themselves. You can imagine when a man or a woman has a problem in the house. Instead of them to settle it within themselves, they will bring it to the general public to hear it. Will they settle it? Most of this public will not give you good advice because they hate you. They don't want your progress in that marriage. So that's why it's not necessary for you to be bringing out your family affairs outside. Because most of these outsiders, they hate you so much. They hate you with passion. They may, it may be a form of envy. They are jealous of your success, of your breakthrough, of you living with your spouse. So it's not good for us to be bringing it out. Every family has a problem. It is left for them to settle it amicably and not bringing it to the general public. Because most of this public, their advice is to destroy the marriage, to make sure that they scatter everybody, to make sure that they put fire in that family so that there will be no peace. That's why it's necessary for you to settle your family dispute inside your bedroom. Do not allow your children to notice that you and your partner are not in good time. Because if you do so, when they grow up, they will use it in their own family life. When they got married, they will start behaving like that. Then, for instance, if you do fight in front of your children, most of the times, you will notice that when they get married as well, they will be fighting with their spouse all the time. They will not take it for, they will not see it as anything bad. But had it been that you have been settling your dispute inside your bedroom, they, are, they will as well adopt it in their own time. And mind you, whatever you are doing, your children are seeing you. You may think that they are not seeing what you are doing. They are looking at you. And with each step you take, they are, they are just gathering it and adapting it in their own life. So be careful what you do in presence of your children, how you talk to your spouse. They are, they are learning everything. Although they may not talk that moment, but when they grow up and get married, they will start doing those things they learn from you. So be careful. Try to settle your dispute properly. Settle it with peacefully. Every wise person must try to tolerate. He or she must try to try to compromise sometimes. Because for, for peace to learn in a family, one person must be submissive. One person must compromise. It's not everything that you must surely adhere to without your instruction and say that that is what we must surely do. And if we do not do it, that it will not happen. It's not proper. Sometimes you have to learn to compromise, try to tolerate, and try to make peace reign in our family and not making problem causing problem every every time